Partial data recovery successful. Uh, audio player. All right. So you're telling me I should not stick my finger in this alien butthole, right? Like that's a bad idea. I should avoid those. New York, status offline. Jonesy, this office is closing down and everyone is being evacuated. From every everyone here, I want to say it's been an honor working with you and Upsilon. Godspeed and good luck with the apocalypse. Year 2000... No, that's probably time. No, because that's time after that. Year 2103. Did I transport to the future? Message! Up- or is Toronto just look the same in the future and we've actually just transported spatially? Update on the defense m measurements. Uh, final efforts by the global community to prevent collision has failed. Pathos 2 should make any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following impact. Okay, I figured out the story again. Uh, meteor hits Earth, everybody dies, except an underwater base uh, a, a series of underwater bases that were made to survive the apocalypse, most of, most of which have died out because of unforeseen robotic personality problems. Uh, dear Miss Vigdis Jonsdotter, it is with great sadness I have to inform you that the office will close when you no longer support Upsilon and Pathos 2. I'd like, you to, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you, our supervisor Jane Adams, and the rest of the staff. You're a terrific group, and it's with great confidence I say that where we fall, you surely will carry on with bravery. System Director James Bloom. Okay. Cadiz, offline. Jonesy, I know you have a much better chance for survival, but we have the better view. Salud. Huh. Uh, we'll wait on this. Read the rest of the audio logs. If you have no need, uh, alien butthole heals you. Yeah, I remember it said that somewhere. But it seems to short circuit things. If you know, have no heal, if you have no need to heal, no need to be a fisting artist. Okay. I would look around or something to get some visual shit while this is going on, but we looked at everything. Hey, hello, Theta? Upsilon, what's up? We could really use direct contact with Heather. Uh, I mean, uh, Site Service Engineer Wolchek. Direct links are almost impossible to establish. The Lumar relays are basically junk at this point. You could send messages via the comm center. If you want, I'm pretty much always here, ready to relay anything by hand. I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. All right, we just have to make two. Catch you later. Hmm. Hello? Peter, was it? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Hang on, what's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yup. We'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna take a wild guess and assume that probably we need to make our way to Theta. Also, I'm gonna make a wild guess and assume that since these things seem to, yeah, they heal you. That's obviously the big fucking plus would imply. Excuse me. Apply that as well. But uh, I'm guessing that if there is some sort of different ending to this game. Probably it's affected by, like, how shit you do. Like, if you keep taking a bunch of damage and using these things, it fucks things up. And so you'll get a worse ending, maybe. On the other hand, I kind of doubt that. It might just be that it fucks things up, and that's what the downside is. Like the downside to healing, you know? Um, let's call... Theta. Alignment. Oh, I see. Hello? You're coming back here. Here.
What? Okay, well, there's something better at Theta, apparently, so I guess it still makes sense that I might want to go there. Let's try calling ourselves. Yeah, that makes sense. Lambda? Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's who we were talking better. to. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. <laughs> I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Epsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pezos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I think he said his name was Carl. He was okay, but... I'm... <laughs> pretty sure I accidentally killed him by turning off the power. It was an accident! Well... You know... Robots don't feel anything, so... I'm happy the game acknowledges yeah. that it was an accident. I did not mean to kill what was him. That? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? I want to call the other stations. Shit. Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how do I get there? There are two trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Women, women never mean that when they say that. Shit! 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 Where do I? Okay. Uh, Well, and then the immense water pressure crushed his bones to dust, and that was the end of the game. Not just kidding. What? What the hell? How is this possible? He's a robot. Almost definitely a robot. Like, I, I just have to assume that he's a robot at this point. Because it, like, we've already established that there's a robot here who thought he was a human, and when he looked down at his own hands, he saw human hands. And now we just look down at our own hands, saw human hands, and then they changed to human hands with a diving suit on. Which we, as far as we knew, we knew, like, we didn't have a diving suit before. So I'm gonna say it's a, there's a pretty good fucking chance that we're a robot. Can I really not swim? Can I, can I just swim up? I thought I could like swim out of here, but is that not the case? No, it really seems like I'm supposed to just swim out of here, like right- Oh, I see. I need the Q. Joke's on him, he doesn't know about the romantic space rock subplot yet. See, you, you know? I wasn't gonna read that. At first, I thought it said space cock subplot, and I think I thought you were gonna tell me that there's some sort of some sort of subplot where, just like there's these space buttholes, there's space cocks around that are their their match or something. And and if you use up too many space buttholes, you won't have enough, you know, for the space cocks later in the game when you gotta backtrack through Metroid style. But that's not what you said. So. Lambda, find the shuttle to Lambda. I hope, uh, nobody here is scared of underwater. I actually, you know what, it's fucking October, I hope- I hope all of you are deeply f afraid of, uh, the deep sea. I'm not, though. I, that's... Like, some people just- just this is terrifying, but... Eh. We've already established that our bones can't be crushed because we're made out of steel, so... Like, you'd think robots would fry in water, but, you know, 
They must just be well made. Robots can't swim, you must be a robot. Makes sense to me. What, are robots like black people? <laughs> Why can't robots swim? Are black people actually robots? Could a black person please confirm? I like the, the music actually. It's kind of a nice little atmospheric thing. I think that's an asset missing. Right? <laughs> oh, is it actually supposed to be a light on that? Or is it a barnacle that didn't load? Ah, it must be lights. I, I think. Uh, it's probably lights. I don't know what kind of function that those lights would serve. Asians are robots. Oh yeah, right, we established that. What if you're just Superman? I don't think Superman's black. Ooh. Dude, fuck, this isn't a horror game. This is just a fucking cool little exploration shit. Exploration in the biggest fucking quotation marks you can find on the market because it's a straight line, basically. <laughs> you know, like, it's still, a, it's still always a walking simulator. Basically, that's that's a huge insult to this kind of game, but it's you are walking, you know. But still, it's kind of nice. It's nice. The ocean seems to drop off there into deeper ocean. Come in, Theta. You better answer me, Strasky. Come on, Amy. Where where are you? The field. I had to leave. Is Carl with you? It all went to hell. Hold on, Amy. You got the power automated, right? The, the plant is safe? We need the power to keep the sites running. Oh, fuck the power! Fuck you, Strasky! The machines killed Carl! The machines oh, are right, Carl. Uh, calm down, it'll, it'll be okay. Can you get back to Theta? Yes. I think so. I'll head for the show of the Ox. Good luck, Amy. Oh, Carthage. Rooting for you. Dude, in a hundred years, Carthage comes back. Neat. Actually, I guess like 90 years, 85 years. Actually, I mean, I guess Carthage is kind of already back. Wasn't the big thing they said about Carthage was that they like burned children alive or something? Or they like burned babies? That's not that different than what we do now. You know what I mean? That's not that far out there, honestly. Is that a person? It's red, which is like the international signal for this thing is going to destroy you, but... Hey. Oh, okay, alright, yeah, it's it's red, so I, sh I should have figured. He lost me already. Okay, well, good, good thing he, this robot is nearsighted. Or, yeah, nearsighted. There's nothing here. It's more of a vision problem than a thinking problem, but... The Romans said that, but it was probably exaggerated propaganda. Hmm... Maybe. You, you, you know, you'd be tempted to think it's exaggerated propaganda, because it's like, why would anyone kill a baby? That's ridiculous. And that's like, oh, right. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah, that's not that... That's not that far out there. Okay. We get a bus stop down here? I'm fucking thousands of miles underwater, and I've still got a... Probably not thousands, probably that's not right. <laughs> but like, we're deep, in the deep sea and I still have to take public transport? Why can't I drive my sea Miata? So I can look sea gay. In 
insert joke about my hips are moving on their own. Times two. Lol abortion jokes. <laughs> yeah, the funniest kind of jokes. It's, it's, yeah. Congratulations, you got it. Um, we were supposed to take the shuttle, so you think the bus sign would be a good indication of where we need to go? But I think at this point, like, we're underwater, so... Fuck the shuttle, you know? Okay, I shouldn't have turned around so much, I'm getting a little lost. But we can probably just follow the green lights. It's probably the bus route. But they go in different directions. Okay. You should immediately abort those horrible ch children killing jokes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get right on it, thanks. I'm just waiting for him to, uh, legalize post-term abortion. Then we'll be Carthage. You know what I mean? America is the- America is a very interesting place. We're already the modern Rome. If we could somehow become the modern Rome and the modern Carthage, we've- we've officially become the greatest- the greatest country in all history, right? And we kind of are, you know? You think about, like, what's the shittiest things that were happening in, happening in Rome and the shittiest things that were happening in Carthage? Uh, homos and baby killing. <laughs> we got both. Save this robot. Hey. What's up? Is that a fucking minigun? Don't kill me. Not oh, cute. Someone was trying to kill this baby robot, and it is Carthage after all, but I saved its life. Are you just gonna follow me around, or are you trying to lead me somewhere? Or are you just living out your life now that you've uh, reclaimed it? Oh, you're gonna follow me? Oh, cool, thanks, man. Oh, neat, I got a little buddy. Sweet. Probably he's needed to solve some puzzle that I have not yet encountered. know what to do with this. Is that a... Its design is kind of interesting. It looks like it's got fucking cat ears. I've got a cat girl robot following me around. And considering its small size and high pitch noises, I've got a cat girl lowly robot. And you know what? It's a little underwhelming for as much as that statement might turn you on. I seem to have reached the edge in every direction, which makes me think that that building in the center is actually where we're supposed to go. I thought maybe I was just missing the path to continue on, like I was just being stupid. I mean, that's probably the case. I probably am being stupid, but... Because I think that's the path where we came from. Can't get up there. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe he can let me into this building. If I'm wrong, then I just... Then that path over there is not where I need to... Not where I went. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, he's not hostile, he's just retarded. Okay. Huh. Okay, well, I was wrong. Yeah, we're just going the wrong way then. I kind of wish I had a map. <laughs> this is where I came from, isn't it? Or am I... Ooh. Fucking crabs down here. I like crabs. It's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool animal. The literal embodiment of cancer. 
It's neat. Freak me out there, buddy. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm like 99% sure that this is where we just came from. Although it's possible that the little guy was something I needed to go collect and then go back. Yeah, that's definitely where we've been. Okay, good. I'm, ha I'm actually happy that hostile robot was there just to remind me that that is definitely the way we came from. Okay, that's good. Did you hear about Gab banning all talk of lolis? The owner said it was demonic. You know, is he wrong? Yeah, like, like, I think he's only wrong in a manner of not principle, but degree, you know? Like, he's saying lolis are demonic. It depends on what you mean. Is he talking about porn, or is he just talking about small anime girls? You know what I mean? But if he's talking about porn, it's like, well, yeah, I'd say basically all... Uh, I don't even know if basically is the right word. I, like, all porn is, is, I'd say, demonic. I don't, I don't know if he's far off on that one, you know? more of an interesting thing banning that specifically, especially if he's not talking about porn. I have just run in circles now like three times. Uh, some For some reason expecting to find a different path that I've missed. Because I mean clearly I seem to have missed something. Look, I found a new path. <laughs> run in circles enough time and it'll, it'll happen. I don't think I don't remember this being here before, but I'm not here. Don't don't worry about me. I wonder if these other ones, like that one, doesn't talk. Do you think that's because? Do you think there's not a, a person inside that one? What the fuck? Like, do any of these robots actually operate autonomously and not have people in them? Like, is this little guy somebody? You know? And they just can't talk or won't talk? Who the fuck uses Gab? Yeah, nobody. Uh, I mean, I understand the alternative. I'm not against alternatives for that shit. You know, like Twitter or something. I, I think more competition is better. Oh, sweet! Thanks, man. But, uh... It wasn't very good. <laughs> you know, the problem. I don't know. I never used to do this. Well, thanks, little guy. Yeah, I my you took the words right out of my mouth. You coming back? You don't need to you don't need to do that. I mean unless you wanna just hang around. You can come in. Is he gonna come? Please tell me he's gonna come. If he comes with me, we'll have to give him a name. I don't think he's coming. Nope. Alright. See ya. <clears throat> Just remember this is supposed to be a horror game. <laughs> I know. We're just fucking, like, having a nice little trip underwater with a friendly little robot, and it's like, oh, right, this is supposed to be scary. <laughs> you forgot, though, that this is not a regular horror game. This is a horror game that I stimulates your right. mind. Right? It fondles the halfy going on inside your brain. How did I... Where did I get a flashlight? I don't know if I like that or I dislike that. I don't I don't know if I like that this game just gives you an item out of nowhere and it doesn't make any sense, but they they acknowledge the fact that it doesn't. Jackie, come in, Theta. I mean I'm sure it'll it's because it's a robot, I'm sure. I can't where are you now? Jackie! I'm at the shuttle. But it's not looking good. The lights are like mad. I I think the power regulator is broken. 
Upsilon goes to Lambda. Okay, well, so the person in these mind memories went to Theta, but we want to go to Lambda, so we'll probably go Lambda. Ugh, why am I fucking burping so much? Omicron, Delta, and then Theta will probably end up like being the last place we go or some shit, unless we get diverted and go to Theta, or... I don't know. That's uh, speculation. Locked it. Open up. Wait, can I just break the window? Wait a minute. Oh, this one's open. Shuttle Beat. Up. Oh, that's a good name for a shuttle. Uh, LW Tether Hazard Report Helper Kit Auto Inflator. Impact event on the on this morning. Okay, this is actually probably interesting. Like important stuff. On this morning of January 12th, the comet Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. The impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Okay, I got that shit right. Called it. Pathos 2's unique abilities provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the, was the weather and communication station located on surface platform Omega, unmanned, which is under cir under circumstances, is a small price to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2 and, the ultimately, mankind. More on the matter will follow. Overseer K. Forquirin. 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 Video. I guess that's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way. Along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. I mean, I hope they will. Hell, I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted a picket fence, big family, you know? I feel you. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm proud of you. And even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. Is that more? Yep, another bubble. Do you think I need to know these things? I don't think I need to. Do you think I need to know that I need seven fucking Phillips heads and ten flats and fucking. No, there's no way. If there is, if I need to know it, I can come back, but I, I seriously doubt it. Take a look down here. This is actually where I'm supposed to go. Oh shit, well let me look over here then. <laughs> this is that classic shit where like, I, I wanna go the wrong way first, please? Oh okay, yeah, there's nothing to do here. Except, insufficient power. Yep. Gotcha, okay. Right, but still, my question, can I? Just break these windows open, because I don't care if it floods, I'm, I don't breathe oxygen. Which also, you remember earlier, where it said, uh, oxygen not available? That was probably true. Probably there was no oxygen in there, and I was fine, because I'm a robot. It all adds up. Like, like the big twist to this game will be if I am not a robot. Because it is, it is extremely obvious that I am.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hi. Hey, are you? Don't hurt me. Yep, I'm a robot. She sees a robot. Can I help? It won't let me die. Or maybe not, because I don't think Carl Nothing saw a robot. But die. is that because he is a robot? What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. I'm guessing I should... Track shuttle offline, basic systems power, power supply reserve. She's gonna fucking die if I... It's her fucking lungs. Um, well, what happens if I, okay, all right, uh, well, you know, Amy, I, the, the answer to this problem seems to be to unplug this shit. Is one of these less important than the other? Do you need the orange arm one? Oh, wait, these all, is one of these optional? Let me look around a little bit. I'll, I'll come back. Sit still. Don't go anywhere. No, there's nothing else here. No, it seems pretty clear I have to unplug this shit to continue. Right? Right? I mean... No! Shit. Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. She's fine. Power supply unstable. That's all I needed. Oh, safety systems? Whoa, whoa. Uh. So now I'm given a choice. Do I engage safety systems by killing her, or do I, do I let her live in this miserable existence? I think she's fine, so let's just... I don't need... You know, we'll save this one. We'll let her live. Congratulations. You get to live. You're the first. As long as this works. If I need safety systems, then you're fucked. I don't think I need safety systems, though. You know what I mean? That's like optional pussy bullshit. That's probably the lack of safety systems. <laughs> it's fine. I'm saving a human life by not having safety on. Emergency only. That's cool. Yeah, that's fine. Can't get in there. Okay. Can I get in here? This looks... Yeah, nice! Sweet. Floodable airlock repair. Adaptable pipes times four. Is that important? Oh, this is cozy. Don't fucking open it. What does this do? No? Shuttle J6 activated. Warning. Unreliable power. Proceed with caution. Yeah, but how unreliable? You know what I mean? Like, unreliable enough I should go kill that woman? Or is it. Like, could you give me a, a straight answer here? Looks fine to me. I gotta be sitting down. You are here. Lambda, Delta, Theta, Omicron. Okay, so I have to go to Lambda first anyway. Warning. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Two spoops out of 15. 1.5 out of 10 spoops. Welcome to Pathos 2. <laughs> it's not that scary of a game so far, really. The beginning was a little bit. It started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s. It's now become home to the Omega Space Gun. Oh. The world's most affordable way to launch... Dude, I've always said we should make a fucking nuclear catapult to do that. Like that fucking guy who worked for Bin Laden said. We need to shoot spaceships into the air. damaging the payload with risky combustion. Multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers 
and scientists. Together, they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, hmm. including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea Do we end this game by shooting ourselves into space? For Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There, you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other Don't parts of the that. station. Don't answer that. Rhetorical question. Yes. We're going up. Slight incline. Okay. I don't know what that button does. Power unstable. It's fine. It's no problem. My vision's a little foggy. Does that mean I need to uh, heal at a butthole? <laughs> you think that design was on purpose? Like, did they just not? Did they? Were they aware of the fact that that looked like a butthole, or like? Simon, Simon, are you there? Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance match. Mm. No problem. What's that? What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. She's gonna be dead. She dies right then. She's dying right now. She's in the process of Catherine? dying at this moment. You okay? Maybe she'll call back and then we'll get to witness her the audio impact of, of her dying, you know, the the audio oral feedback. But otherwise, uh, she's fucking dead. Okay, that's the hatch, but there's something down here. It looks like a robot. Or a butthole? I'm actually low on health, I think. And there doesn't seem to be much around I could really fuck up. So, yeah, we'll butt heal. Oh. Ooh, yeah, you're putting your whole Jesus hand Christ. in this time. What the hell? It's fine. Seemingly, we were just playing- we were just doing the foreplay wrong last time. Like before, we were just kind of touching the rim, and that was like, fucking things up. You stick your whole hand in, and that's enough to just- nothing really happens except you heal yourself. I'm learning a lot of things I didn't need to know from this game. Swipe Omni Tool. Sure thing. Fuck, I forgot the Omni Tool back in the shuttle. Why would you fucking do that? Wait, we, what? Are you serious? What? <laughs> That's bullshit. I didn't forget it. You did. I thought I was supposed to be in control of the play of the character. I thought I was the vessel, or he was the vessel, or whatever the fuck we were saying. But I. I don't like that. I don't like when games do that. Like, I didn't fuck up. You did. I would have remembered it, you know? You gave me a fucking remember button. What the fuck? Ooh! Ooh! Okay, it's getting there! Alright! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, game. Actually, I probably wouldn't have remembered. I probably could have picked that up before. Okay, now we're fucking going somewhere. That's what I want. I, this is October! Like, it's about fucking time. I've been waiting. 
Go, go. Someone just texted me. What is it? <laughs> Dalton just said he banned someone as a joke. Please unban him. I would, but I'm out of data. <laughs> I guess I'll do it later. I guess the lady must have assumed that I had a diving suit, because otherwise this would just be like a really mean thing of her to do. You know? Wait. Huh? What's the... Oh, it just takes a second, I see. Back to this. <laughs> Back from the spookiest part of the game. I mean, so far, that one second was probably the spookiest them, part. Right? I mean, really. Now to how this. Big can this ocean be? How... How big can this ocean be? I don't know. Bigger than the fucking land? You know what I mean? Like, what do you, what do you mean, how big can this ocean be? It, it, you know, I'm not even gonna question it. it. It was clearly a sarcastic comment on his part, but the 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 line delivery was not the most convincing. It sounded like he's actually asking, like, how big can this ocean be? We'll find it eventually. I'm a fucking robot. I'm not gonna starve to death. I haven't eaten a thing this entire time. Clearly, I'm not really like needing it. Oh, 350 meters. Okay. I don't know what meters mean, but I, that's that's an amount of measurement. I'm going the right way. I wonder if that'll be the, uh, twist instead, is that we're actually on a fucking different planet, and that's what he meant. You know? Like, how big can this ocean be? Because he doesn't know. This could be- this isn't the fucking Pacific or something, this is- He has no idea how big this ocean is. Maybe this planet's the size of a, you know, like a particularly large football field. Who knows? No one knows. There's no way of knowing. Makes sense, you know? This could be, uh, Europa. I think it's Europa, right? Europa's the one with... Europa's the one with ice on the top. Okay, I can, I can just run away. These fuckers aren't very good at chasing you, honestly. You run away for two seconds, and then they lose you. See what I mean? I just, just walk behind this, and he's like, I've got no fucking clue where you just went. I thought I was the one who was supposed to have brain damage. Like, I, I can afford to be pretty ballsy about my sneaking around because there's no downside to being caught. Wait, so he knows he's a robot. Black blood and it's oil, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe this is Europa, and we're underneath the ice, and this is the water underneath, and this is what's actually a Europa. Maybe. That'd be a high IQ twist.